The radio ate my neighbors. It's explosive. Hello, and welcome to Radio at My Neighbours with me, Ben Nielsen. Me, Matthew Parkinson. And me, Liam Richardson. Now, I don't know whose mic is which, so they're all on. Excellent. <laughs> are, are they all working? Is that something that's... They're all working, yeah. Well, um, in case you are new to the radio show, um, this is basically going to set the tone for the rest of the year. <laughs> um, yep. It's basically us three turning up in a radio studio and frankly anything could happen. So This microphone is instantly too high for my tiny body. And here we go, we're already complaining. <laughs> You're such a D, William. <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were going to say something different then. Radio my name is ladies and gentlemen, three <laughs> years in a row, here we are, <laughs> sitting once again in the Frequency Radio studio. Yes, yeah, do not be adjust your set, that awkward silence is genuine. It's part of the show. It it's, it's like yeah. our catchphrase. Our catchphrase is we, awkward silence. We give you a reason to pay £9,000 per year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, what have we all been up to this week, then? This week? Yeah, this week. The last two weeks. In fact, over the summer holidays, because we probably should do a bit of a catch-up. For well, yeah, I mean, when was the last show? I didn't even do the last show last year. You didn't, no, you actually, didn't. No, you were elsewhere. It I was a good show, you. <laughs> it was a good show. Yeah. It was good fun, actually, yeah. Is that when we called Tony Blair out for a fight, or...? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it. I just remember Liam not being there, so it was excellent. <laughs> Best show ever. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do much. I went travelling around India. Discovered myself. Where is, where is myself? Don't know. Is it a fine. small city, or...? <laughs> was it a cave somewhere? I was like, yeah, alright. He's like, get lost. Okay, fair enough. What about you, Ben? What did I do over the summer? Um, do you know? I can't remember. <laughs> I just I'm, I'm flattered because I spent some of those days of the summer with you as well. Oh yeah, you did. I thought, you I thought each what other we had was special. Now. As far as I recall, I just sat in a room all summer doing nothing, just waiting for summer to end. And then the effects <laughs> of the drugs wore off. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant because it's it's not true. Yeah. <laughs> and Radio in my neighbours does not endorse drug use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, we've been on air for one minute and 25 seconds. Started and, you mean to go on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, brilliant, brilliant wow. stuff, fantastic. Oh, goodness me. So we've been talking now for how long now? Is it? About a minute. Two minutes. We've Two already minutes. run out of things to say. I will really? say one little thing. If you're listening on YouTube, hello, this is something quite new that I'm going to try. On YouTube? That's not a thing. Well, no, it will be when I podcast it and put it on YouTube. Oh, that's true. So hang on, yeah. So you're now speaking to time. Brilliant. So, yeah, if you are now listening to you on YouTube, um, welcome to the last show of Radio 8 Your Neighbours. Radio 8 Your Neighbours? Radio 8 Our Neighbours. <laughs> My Neighbours? All Our Neighbours. <laughs> oh, God, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> Having a meltdown on it's the first day back. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> is this the part where I grab the axe, or...? You were halfway through a point there. Is, is that point yeah. done? I, um... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Carry on. You two do what you want. Brilliant. Let's um let's go to a song. And that was Snow Patrol with Take Back the City. I love that song. And that's quite not appropriate because of the riots that happened last year, which we're definitely against. And yeah. I think I think it's a bit late to worry about not playing songs because of the riots, mate. I think, yeah, you I can think never be too fast. careful though, because you know, Twitter that was all to blame for that. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter, the most evil thing to ever come out of the internet. Oh, it's like Satan on a plate on the internet. Radio at my neighbours tackles real social <laughs> issues. <laughs> like Twitter being Satan on a plate. Yeah. It's probably the, the best explanation I've ever heard of for Twitter. Yeah, well, I, I'm not a big fan of Twitter. Especially on TV shows where they put a hashtag oh, no, in the corner. Who again. tweets while they're watching TV? Especially serious TV. Well, actually, hang on. That could be... Do you realise how bad that is really now? Because when you see the Twitter thing pop up, you think, ah, oh, brilliant, I must write something witty in. And then you pause your TV. And then you write in. And then, and then you unpause the TV. And then you've got a delay. And then you think, oh my god, all these people are tweeting about all the stuff that I've not watched yet. And then you've got to fast forward it. And then you miss the program. Basically, all you've watched on that program is a hashtag pop up and the credits. Yeah, well, if you, yeah, if you well, follow the hashtag, TV. you're not watching the program. You're just tweeting about the program. You're not processing then, it. You're just, how can you tweet about the program? No. Because you've not watched it. All you've watched is a Twitter thing on the screen. I don't understand why people tweet during a program, tweet after, if anything. 
Precisely. And then when they give like the hashtag a funny name, like Fringe had one that was just hashtag darkest before dawn. Anyway, we're going off on a really, really, really boring tangent <laughs> when this show is... Well, it's boring most of the time, but let's I not have a boring show. I thought was just a boring tangent. Oh, that was no, just... that's your life. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that was a bit hard. He just said that on there. That explains Make... why I live with you. <laughs> Making a, then a maybe you shouldn't one. be living here. <laughs> really, my name is, ladies and gentlemen. Casual insults. And a whole lot of repressed hate. Wait. So this this time this year, at this time of year, we are a program of peace on Radio Eight, my neighbours. Are we though? No longer shall we make enemies of our listeners. Are we though? Nah, probably not. We're not though, are we? <laughs> <laughs> so, where on earth do we go from here then? We can't shout at anybody or threaten to yeah. declare war on anybody or. Well, hey, I said nothing about not declaring war on anybody. Well, yeah, I think countries declare, that might be able to beat us. Should we declare war on Rindo? Yes. Hang on, just me. Yeah, the just, United. Hang on, you just you're right. Okay. The so, United States of me and Ben. Oh, I got on what grounds? I don't like your shirt. Oh, okay. I do like. What's your shirt. wrong with the shirt today? Hey, I do like your that shirt. That is not his most offensive shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, it's not as yeah. It's I mean, not as if you had a if shirt. you had a hangover. I've got far worse shirts that I you could do. wear, let's be honest. You do. But no, I like that shirt. It's also, just, I've realised how reason. badly this topic works on the radio. <laughs> for, for those wondering, Ringo is currently wearing... <laughs> that nice little uh, sort of blue and white number, sort of like a, a diagonal sort of It's kind of like a pattern. geometric pattern type thing, would you yeah. say? Yeah. It looks a bit like graph paper. <laughs> <laughs> graph paper. Wow, okay. <laughs> graph paper. Graphic. And next week, Ben and Liam on what not to wear. Will <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sitting here in jeans that literally just have chocolate all over them for when I was just shoving Dality in my face last night. Yeah, but that's, that's, avant- that's avant-garde. Great. It's moving. It's living. It's it's not avant-garde. It's having bothered to iron another pair of jeans right, today. Okay, fair enough. But <laughs> <laughs> What's the upset of a somersault? Don't know, mate. A winter pepper. <laughs> <laughs> This is a dark day for broadcasting. This is... Or is it the best of days? I think the darkest day for broadcasting um, was the day you joined the broadcast. Learn of course. Whoa! Whoa! Thanks for that. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I'm the, I'm, I'm the one studying broadcast, and yet I've no control over the desk, which means you're able to play absolute... <clears throat> um. Ringo, how can you dismiss Carly Rae Jepsen when you've started her fan club? Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. How can you dismiss Tally Ray Jepsen when you are Tally Ray Jepsen? <gasps> Twist. Directed by M. Night Shyamalan. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you're a very attractive Canadian girl. <laughs> they just call Ringo very attractive. Is this, this, is, is this, this is the weirdest on? compliment I have ever had. <laughs> I'm just saying, have we had any messages, Ben? No. Brilliant. I've just smacked my face on the microphone. But why are pirates so popular? I don't know, Ben, why are pirates so popular? They just... ah. Oh. <laughs> Great oh, song, that. Sorry, I'm looking at your headphones. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's just a mess of wires behind you. It there is. was another pair of headphones here two minutes ago, and I think they're on the... Ah, hello. There, there they we are. Go. I've moved, you see. Sorry, I'm snubbing. We've had a, yeah, we've kind of moved everyone around a bit, because we are having problems with microphones, although we really shouldn't be... We shouldn't be displaying that on air, but well, if we, you like can't, to, we like to involve everyone in our planning meetings. It's fine. If you can only hear me, then you're incredibly lucky, and just be grateful that you can't hear my two co-presenters. That's really, really That's, charming. Thanks for that, Ben. You're a... Um, Beep! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep clean now, because we're new ethical and all this lot. I've, I've swapped sides, you see. I'm, I'm, I'm cuddling up next to Rindo on the set here now. We have got, yeah, now you're we, looking deep into my eyes. We've got a uh, sofa now, actually. It's quite nice. We should have is, candles yes. and everything in here. Oh, you're sitting on the sofa? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chilling um, out. We're just we're having good fun over here, aren't we, Rindo? It's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady now. <laughs> steady. Steady, Liam. Sorry, I should probably buy you dinner first. Anyway, at this point, I'd like to introduce a new campaign to the show. Right. Well, it's a campaign that we started in the first year, forgot about entirely in the second year. Did we? It's now coming back, being said as always, the last bit of the trilogy always has much more in common with the first bit than the second bit. That's true. It's like poetry, it rhymes. It's like Batman Begins as long as it's not a pre- As long as it's not a prequel. Get out. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> we don't mention prequels okay, in the studio. Sure. Ben hates prequels. It's the most irrational fear of something ever. It's not irrational. Name a good prequel. Lots of the prequels. Name a good prequel. That's there was. Uh. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater. That's a game. Still a prequel. Well, he does have a point. <laughs> Name a good film prequel. Now we're just getting too specific. Now that's just getting fussy. Um, I'm sure I'll think the one. Move on with your point. I'll come back. Star Wars. Oh no, no that's not good. <laughs> no, work, we don't it? mention that here. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, the campaign is. Some of you might be aware of a celebrity oh, called Richard yeah. Maidley. Richard Maidley. <laughs> who We're actually running with this. Of course yes. we are. Yeah, okay. We, we, we've wanted him on the show since first year. We have. But now we want everybody to tweet him and say, go on Radio Open Neighbours. Oh my Everyone. god, yes. I'm looking at that right now. All two of our listeners, we want you to do that. I'm tweeting Richard Maidley right now. What, what, what are we saying to Richard Maidley? What are we actually going to say if he does come on the show? Yeah, Richard. That's what I'm worried about. Like, just well, we'll we'll have him on his phone interview, and we'll just get him to play the pan pipe challenge, which but will be it... returning next week. Okay, that's yeah, true. Once yeah, once we once we learn how to to find pan pipes, our yeah. infamous competition will return. So you've got that to look forward to. Yes. Our, our resident pan piper has left for Norway. <laughs> that well-known pan pipe paradise. Yeah. Hey, yeah. pan pipe paradise. Oh, look at pan that! I love the alliteration. That's I like amazing. It. Yeah, I really like that. It's nice. It's a nice thing. <laughs> good, good choice of words, that. Richard Maidley yes. tweeted me back. Someone has just responded to something on Twitter. This is amazing. Hang on. Has he actually tweeted you back? Uh, <gasps> Gosh. Uh, has he? Has he? Richard, no. are you out there? He hasn't. Someone else favourited that tweet. Who? Emma Barrett. Oh. <laughs> That's for listening, Emma. Uh, Assuming she's listening and not just for looking at me, why is he <laughs> tweeting Richard Maidley? That's odd. <laughs> Someone Incredible Emma Barrett has just tweeted Richard Maidley And says Needs to happen Richard You haven't lived until you've played Never mind the panpipes <laughs> <laughs> Yes Everyone else get involved Tweet Richard Maidley Tweet Richard Maidley yes. get him on him. We are going to make this And if you have any questions That you'd like us to ask him In fact if you'd like to ask him yourself We could try and work out Some way of getting you to phone him Or something I don't know Yeah His, his Twitter name is At Richard M 50 sets Here's is indeed. Let's uh, let's try something a bit different for once. Are we going to try and be professional? Yeah, let's play some uh, some music. Oh, okay. We've never done that before. We've never done that. Oh my god, this is this is exciting times, Ben. That's mostly because you've been too busy playing Carly Rae Jepsen. That's uh, the, how dare you? He doesn't think that's music. He thinks that was better than music. <laughs> yeah, he oh thinks that god. transcends <laughs> immortal music. I want that played at my funeral. Please no one hold me to that. My mum will be really disappointed. Oh my god, a second. <laughs> but why would she be disappointed on the happiest day of my life? <laughs> 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 don't, don't, don't. Oh my god. Oh, I realised that halfway she, through. She, but that was a horrible thing to say. Once. That was absolutely... Wow. Okay. Well, the truth is always horrible. <laughs> That was that was Grenade by Bruno Mars, of course, because he would catch a grenade for, well, just about anything. I'd catch a grenade for you. I wouldn't really. That would retire me to tear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> why, oh. why, is, why on earth is that a sign of affection? Oh, I'll catch a grenade for That's stupid. It's not really. It's and then you say jump in front it. of a train. Well, hang on. What if she really likes him? That's a bit selfish. Muppet. <gasps> That's the point, actually. Really he hasn't thought did. that through, has he, really? No. And then she's got to sort out the funeral and, what's and it tell it? the family. What's in it for him anyway? Yeah. What's he going to get out of this? Die. Just because he gets his own sick kicks by jumping in front of a train. How could you? How could you indeed? <laughs> what on earth are we listening to now? <laughs> I can, all I can hear are horns. I found the sound effects and now the show will become a bit of a... <laughs> Oh god! Good way. Well done, Ben. Oh god! <laughs> I'm I'm proud of that one. I'm proud. I don't know why. There's a car crash sound effect specifically for this show, probably. Well, I have a little um, a little section of the show I would like to do. If that's alright with you two. I'm yeah, absolutely. If we can, can we help out in any way? It's, or cool. we... well, no, it's, it's actually it's a it's actually a news discussion part. I'm going to call it serious business. 
No, oh, this, this has got the potential to go horribly wrong. No, no, go what on. we're going to do is another, a new story from the past week. Okay. We're going to talk about the social, economic, and political no. responses behind it. No. And we're going to have a little bit of just, you know, just serious news discussion, because I think it'll be, I think it'll be good for this show. So this is this week's news story. Man interrupts his own funeral in Brazil. <laughs> Whoa, I, I, how did he do that? <laughs> Wait, doesn't this story come up just about every month? Probably. A 41-year-old car washer shocked his family when he interrupted a funeral being held for him Monday at his mother's home in the town of Aldoianas in northeastern Brazil. Police Inspector Roberto Lima said that on Sunday, Jose Martos had identified a body at the city board as being that of his brother. A few hours before the Monday burial, a friend of Gilberto saw him walking down the street and told him that his family was mourning him. So he went to his mother's home to let everyone know he was very much alive. When Gilberto showed up at his wake, some people fainted and others were so scared they ran away. It was a big shock. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Actually, no. That, that was wasn't a that was the a, sound effect I should have played. That was, that was a close shave with a car crash there, you see? You managed to stop exactly. it in time. I should, I should have played this. That's him leaving the coffin. That it sounded like a coffin, weird uh, electronic baby crying. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> what the just, just, nightmarish just, world do you inhabit? <laughs> just play that again. I don't tell me that doesn't sound a bit like a weird Dalek baby crying or something. A weird Dalek, Dalek baby? Yeah. Dalek. Daleks don't... Daleks aren't babies, mate. They're oh, just okay. sort of mutants that are put into the shell. But hey, they, hang on. they you, never go through babies. They just have a hive mind, so... You listen to that soundtrack and tell me you don't feel the same way. <laughs> That See? sounds like a door. It does not sound what like a door. What? what? What type of babies have you been listening to? Have you made a robot baby? Uh, um, have you no. built a robot what? baby no. in your garage? Do you really trust... I, I wouldn't trust myself to build a mini, let alone a mini robot baby thing. <laughs> do you, do you know... sounds dangerous. It does rather, actually. Do you know what sound is quite scary? What sound is it? That's meant to be a monster growling, that but was? it sounded more like a car. It sounded more like a plum on bourbon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> I was going to say it sounded like someone who got a bad case of wind there. To yeah. be honest, yeah. <laughs> How does sound effects are you playing? Just the ones on the on the computer. There's forest sounds. Go on then. Forest sounds. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, that's very nice. That's, uh, what, that sounds horrid. <laughs> Almost sounds like, but that's nature, mate. Um, All I'm saying is, no one expects anything decent from me. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, go on, Liam, please tell us more about this, will you? Tell you more about what? Um, no one expects anything decent from you. Which is in general, really. Why did he say that in a Bane voice? I don't know why I said that in a Ah, <laughs> oh, Liam! <laughs> what? <laughs> I, hang on, you've lost me here. What have I, what have I not watched? Tell me more on? about your... It's seat. not about what you've watched! <laughs> Ringo. It's about what what is you? That's not Ben. That was my Bane voice. No Ben. Who, hey, whoa, who the hell is who the hell is Bane? They will expect Ringo in the wreckage, brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> a lovely, lovely voice. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, Bane, the the villain from The Dark Knight Rises. Do you know I've film. not seen that film. Have no. you seen Batman with Dems? Yes, I have, yeah. Oh, you yeah. have? Yeah, have you seen yeah. The Dark Knight? Yes, I have. you seen an episode of The Simpsons yet? No, <laughs> why do I want to do that? Uh, why, why would I want to do that, really? I'm sorry, Matt Groening or... Groening. Groening or whatever. Groening? <laughs> Matt <laughs> Groening? No, it's not my fault, I can't pronounce his name. I can't believe you've never watched an episode You should just say Smith instead and that would be much easier to pronounce. But Matt Smith is the doctor, isn't he? Yes. Of course. Exactly. That'd be another reason for people like, to like him. Although, saying that, I've not seen an episode with him in that either. <gasps> what? Oh, you but, but, what? you, but what? But, the, the, well, yeah, but hang on, yeah, well, Whoa, well, hang on. I'm not saying we're sponsored by TFC. But. But we're like not sponsored by TFC. Oh, okay. That's, that's, um, that's a very well-made point. I'm sorry to KFC and any other fast food retailers out there who... Do want to sponsor us? Yeah, if you do Actually, want to sponsor yeah, us. can we get you to sponsor us? Well, it's because we're part of the union, we can't promote products, but if they like gave us some free food, then we'd consider 
talking about them? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Are we, yeah, I mean, we're not allowed sponsorship, but are we allowed product placement? <laughs> Can you imagine how false it might sound as well? Ooh, I'm really enjoying my Tesco brand Coca-Cola. <laughs> I like the way that you, you almost didn't name a brand there, and then you definitely did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Other supermarkets and other drinks are available. But I am enjoying these old El Paso burritos. Oh, God. They are delicious. Are we genuinely not allowed to say any kind of brand? Well, we are, but we, we're probably pushing a bit now. And if someone crashes a car into the studio, I'm allowed to say, Oh, look, he's just crashed his brand new Audi A6 into the studio. The new V10 engine managing 65 well, now miles per gallon. Now you've libeled... Whatever car brand you said? No, so you said not. that they're more likely to crash into no. frequency <laughs> studio. Got, no, that was that was just the bloke driving it. I can see him now. He was I can't because it's not happened. But I don't sure? know. Well, it's all going to be happening. I mean, I, th- none of this might be real. This could all be a figment of my imagination. Probably is. Oh, I had the craziest dream last night, guys. We were all sat in the radio studio. Yeah, and we were doing a radio show, and it was really boring. We weren't doing anywhere with it. Hey, critic. Sorry. And that's the C word we're allowed to say. (laughs) (laughs) And I was, just before Ringo said that, I was about to say we're in trouble already for the advertising conversation, and then you dropped that. Brilliant. Oh my god, Richard Madley just tweeted me back. No. Wow. I'm not. Sorry. We should. What did he say? I'm not. What did he say? He said, don't say why not. Pontad. Yes. Pontad. Yes. Don't yes. say why not! Oh my god! He nearly just got oh back to us! Oh this my is god. the best day ever! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh yes! Oh, we're getting Richard mainly on! And that was Three Lines by the Lightning Seeds. And that's quite a triumphant song as we. Um, yeah, just we kind of reflect Richard upon what's happened Mealy. to our show. Ri- yes. Thanks to you, you beautiful, beautiful people tweeting Richard Madeley. Proving that vast, harassing people online numbers, does work. Your vast numbers of three. We, <laughs> again, well, it, possibly we're getting Richard Madeley on the show. Being with my neighbours is going to have a celebrity interview. I mean... What's happened? <laughs> I, I'm not trying to say that we're going to win a media award for this, but... It's not. nothing pretty likely yeah, that we won. I mean, we've won every year for the past two years in our heads, in yeah. our own special awards. The, the Ben Nielsen Radio Rouge. Awards have been very good to Radio My Neighbours, as we've been the only candidates. <laughs> <laughs> Richard <Yeah>. Madeley! <laughs> Richard Madeley! Yeah. And next week, we'll get Barack Obama and Mitt Romney to have a fight live on air. We promise. Do you know Barack Obama, Probably. right? <laughs> Do you know Barack Obama? Go on. I hear he farts. <gasps> We're Gosh. not playing that song. Wow. I'm no, sorry. we can't. No, we can't. You know what I was thinking the other day? We're a professional radio show now with celebrity guests. Do you know what I was thinking the other day? This is our Halloween episode, you know. Well, we could just put no, it on next week. Next as well, week's a we? Halloween episode. It's on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <God>. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are the very height of professionalism. Uh, And that was Africa by Toto. I do like that song by Toto, but my favourite song by Toto is the one from Robot Unicorn. What's it called? That's not Ro- Ro- Toto. Ro- Ro- Robot Unicorn. That's Erasure. Earth is- oh, God, yeah, it's Erasure, isn't it? Good God. Which, hang on, which, whoa, which song are we talking about now by Erasure? Always. Always I want to be with you and make believe with you and live in harmony, harmony, oh. That, that was that was the best rendition of any song I have ever Thank heard. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. We should just get you and Ben just to sing all the songs. Forget music. We'll just have that. That'd be perfect. Yes. Then people would die. Oh, yeah. That's a bit drastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but let me and Ben sing. For more than a minute, nah. the world starts to end. <laughs> the roads will be quieter. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Pretty news. My girlfriend is happy that Richard Madeley's coming on the show. <laughs> Excellent, that's good news, that's fantastic Breaking news, you have a girlfriend? Breaking news, yeah mate, it's your mum Oh, oh. yeah <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm your we, daddy we now We did so well, <laughs> one hour and twenty minutes And we managed to enjoy your mama jokes <laughs> Well yeah, we, we have to set records somewhere We do As long as frequency's ever gone without a your mum joke <laughs> <laughs> That's the longest Leon's ever gone without... No, sorry. Oh! (laughs) Oh my god, Rindle, you (laughs) dog. I have a funny story about an owl. Do you? I'll see if I can find it. A funny story about an owl and you go... Speaking of uh, funny, 
What did the light bulb say? T- what did the baby light bulb say to its mother? Don't know. I love you, Watts and Watts. Oh, oh God, dear me! That was the single worst joke ever broadcast. So that's that's currently anything. leading today's competition. What's the star prize today, Ben? What's the uh, the star prize? Um, can't think of anything. Batman, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> You're in first turn. That's my Batman voice. That actually sounds genuinely threatening. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time anyone's ever said that in Slender. Where's right? Rachel? What the hell was that? <laughs> Where's Rachel? Where's my boss? <laughs> Where's my boss, Jotter? Not, not Batman. Well, now we're done deafening the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to each other. Liam? Yeah. We've just spoken about animals. Yeah. What's your favourite animal? My favourite animal? My favourite animal is probably a dog. Ringo, what's yours? Are you a dog or a cat person? Um, I, as we've got a dog, I'm probably For the sake of this say link, dog, say yeah. you're a cat person. Why? For say the sake dog. of this link, say, say you're a cat dog. person. I'm not a cat person. Well then, I guess you don't. Love cats. And that was Love Tats by the viewer. We have half an hour left, ladies and gentlemen. That was meant to be Army Guy on radio. That almost sounded like somebody getting frustrated with dial-up internet. Ah! Oh, that's horrible. Is that a what? I think there's something in these headphones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rindle whapping himself. Oh, any other sound effects, Ben? We are just going to do sound effects live on the radio. Depends what you mean by... Explosion. Sound effects. Hang on, let me, let's try. We can use that as a slogan. The radio ain't my neighbours. It's explosive. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> that we're finished. Should we do that there? Should we let that nail down now? So I've retorted this now. Live from 5 till 7 on Wednesdays. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do the first bit and then Rindle can do the full voice. The radio ate my neighbours. It's explosive. So that's that's <laughs> oh, yeah, something. Oh, that that that. voice is amazing. Yes, I've we just, are. I've just realised there's no way to make Wednesday sounds really sinister. Wednesday. It's <laughs> Wednesday. Yeah. The world will turn. Subtire next week in a couple of hours. How did you do that? Voice is amazing. <laughs> it, it genuinely sounds like the movie voiceover guy, it doesn't does. it? <laughs> do it then. Say say in a world without hope. <laughs> This summer, one man will discover the secret. <laughs> Read you with my neighbours and then they'll play the hell hell do I, I, I do Try that, try that. Actually, actually can we read some music like... Like fanfare for the common man or something beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> try, 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 just try it, try it. Oh god, I'm tired. Wait, I'm gonna try a different sound effect this time. <laughs> Revolutionary radio going on here. <laughs> oh my god. I love this. People are tuning in to listen to us planning next week's show. Yeah, do it on Before we oh, before we do anything, this one listen to this sound effect which is called Angry Goat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go. Really Liam, is. Liam, do your bit. No, you've got to do all of it. Your voice is too perfect. No, 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 it's fine. You do it, Liam. Do the voice. Right, I'll start. Do yeah, Wait there. On. Wait before. Let's let's get this ready. Now this is this is right, this yeah, is going right, to be yeah. it. Sounds in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. The radio ate my neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try that. You just can't bleat it. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing pun yes. Oh my god. You're Wait. listening to the radio ache my neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most amazing thing. I've just, just realised how easily entertained we are as well. You just Wait. can't bleat us. Wait there. Wait there. Let's, let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna end on a song. We are. We're gonna end on a very good song, actually. Good. A very very good song. Good. A very 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 good song. Good. A very good song. Good. <laughs> this is um. <laughs> this is. Can we just say happy up right? here? Oh, by Roots Up and we are going to say goodbye now 
Goodbye from me. I've been Ben Nielsen. You've been listening to Radio at My Neighbours. I'm Liam Richardson. You've been listening to Radio at My Neighbours. And I'm still Matthew Parkinson. And you've no, been listening to the what? The, oh, you're stop. Ringo oh, Parkinson. Oh, wow, oh my goodness me. Oh, oh okay. Oh, my but anyway, God. you have. You have been listening to Radio Your Neighbours, the most successful radio show this side of the Atlantic. The most successful radio show on between Wednesday 5 and 7 on FrequencyRadio.co.uk. That That's is true. That's specific. The most specific radio show to reach your ears on Wednesday night, drive time. Even though somebody, nobody can actually access it in the car. No. Unless, of course, they've got a posh car with the internet, which is probably a bad idea because you can do more dangerous things with the internet in a car. I saw the Google car earlier. Really. It was on campus. You yes, having a laugh, really? Yeah. I Not having a laugh. It was on campus. Hang on, so they're going to update the Street View thing again, are they? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Because one of me shows me peering out of my garage going, what on earth is that? You can't see me saying that because it's just a still <laughs> picture and they've blurred out my face. But, but they haven't blurred out the speech bubble for that. No, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Do you know the Sphinx statue in Las Vegas has its face blurred out? That's amazing. Uh, anyway, I was, was going to make a joke about the one in Egypt, but that's just got its nose blown off. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this is Happy Up Here by Rokes Up. Thank Thanks you for listening. listening. And Richard, maybe if you've been listening, then I hope we can still get you on after this. You're a babe. Thank you for responding, Richard. To be continued. <laughs>